and Scott McCloud, Space Angel. Blast off for another exciting adventure in outer space with Scott McCloud, Space Angel, in the story of Incident of the Loud Planet. Our story opens at Earth Control on a routine day. The dispatchers are about to okay a Venus Junction space freighter launch. Venus Junction, Venus Junction, this is Earth Control, over. Earth Control, this is Venus Junction, go ahead. Here's your party, Chief. Space freighter 005, this is Earth Control. Request granted. Launch your cargo capsule on orbit 2.76. Earth Control. This is Space Freighter 005. Roger. Releasing cargo on orbit 2.76. Over. Hey, what's this? Oh, no, it couldn't be. Master Control. Master Control, this is Station 7. Alert. This is Master Control. What's wrong, Bill? I'm recording red alert in sector 045. Over. Station 7, red alert. Sector 045. Roger. Hang on, Bill. This is Master Control. Put me through to the Chief. This is an emergency. Come in, Earth Control. What's up? Disturbance in sector 045, Chief. Source unidentified. It's jamming communications. Check all stations and verify. And move, man. Check. All stations. Stand by for fix on unidentified signal and report. Roger, Master Control. of your lunch yet. How long do you think you could keep this up without making yourself sick? You've got to eat. I'll eat, Mom. I, I'm just not hungry yet. Oh, dear. I'm okay, Mom. Just leave me alone, please. No, Johnny, I won't. It's high time we put a stop to this. I've put up with this beep, beep, beep of your equipment every day for three years now while you've searched the skies for your father. Johnny, it's no use. He's gone. He's not coming back. He is, too. I'm going to find him if it takes all my life. Don't stop me, Mom. Someday I'm going to find that wild planet. It has to come back. It has to. Oh, Johnny, dear, it's just no use. Oh, how I've prayed that... Mom! Mom, that's it! We found it! Look! It's the wild planet! We found Dad! Oh, Johnny! Johnny, do something! Yahoo! You know it! I'll peek the game! Hit the bearing computer and recorder! And now what? That's it! In a minute, we'll know the position and speed of the planet Sonix, and Earth Space Control can send searchers after it. I did it, Mom! I did it! I produced an element that can't be found any place on Earth! But, Chief, we put the data through the analyzer, and it's unable to locate the source. Hmm. Put me through to the Starduster. It's operating in that area. Maybe we can get some missing data from the Space Angel. Okay, Chief. Stand by. Urgent signal from Master Control, Scott. It must be the Chief. Right, Crystal. Master Control, this is the Starduster. Go ahead, Chief. Scott. There's a strange signal coming from the direction of your patrol area. Have you seen anything? Sure have, Chief. And our wave detector registers sonite. It's getting stronger. Sonite? Are you sure? I'm afraid so, Chief. We haven't had a blast yet. Here it comes! Scott! Scott! Are you all right? So far, Chief, but... Hey, Skipper, 
Our automatic guidance system is knocked out. We're coming apart at the seams. She, she's out of control. This is Master Control. Space Angel just landed in the Starduster. Splendid, Master Control. Send the Space Angel right in. Yes, sir. And call Dr. Mace for an immediate conference. Dr. Mace. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. My viewer was knocked out and never did get a glimpse of the asteroid. So night wave at that point was two space units across, Professor Mace. Hmm. From that angle, I would say the Sunite waves must have been transmitted from Earth. The sonite asteroid only magnified them and bounced them back. Then sonite transmission could knock out any spacecraft that got into the path of its transmission? Not the path of transmission, Scott. It's the bounce back wave from the greater source of sonite that is dangerous. That's why we've got to find out who, when, where, what is broadcasting this thing. We're running the recorded data through now. We'll know exactly where it's coming from in a minute. Uh, <clears throat> come in. Pardon me, Chief. There's a young boy out here who says he's been broadcasting Sonite. I thought you'd like to talk to him. Would I? I'll say I would. Send him in here. Your computer pinpoints the Sonite transmission in the 1200 block on Pine Street, right here in the city. <coughs> and where do you live, young man? Uh, 1240 Pine Street, sir. Young man, don't you know that transmitting Sonite is against the law? Yes, sir, but... Do you know you almost killed the Space Angel? No, Chief, don't be so tough on him. It was the only way to locate the wild planet Sonex through harmonic response. A and my dad was lost on it over three years ago, and I found it. I have the computer tape, and, and... Wait a minute. Slow down. The boy makes sense. The planet Sonex was in this area three years ago. And Professor Kendall, who went out to survey it, has never returned. Scott, this looks like a job for the space angel. Oh, boy, the Space Angel. Roger, Chief. I'll uh, I'll notify the Space Angel to have the Starduster ready for blast off first thing in the morning. Scott, is the Starduster all ready to blast off on schedule? Ready, willing, and able, sir. Crystal's helping Professor Mace check out our new tracking gear, and Taurus is directing the loading of supplies. Where's the Space Angel? Can I meet the Space Angel? Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> uh, no, Johnny. He, he's uh, already. 